We, we are, are red. Hi, I'm Ashley Cornelius and I'm a spoken word poet. Hi, my name is Katie Orr and I'm a mixed media artist. Hey, my name is Sophie T and I'm a multimedia artist. For this project, we wanted to dispel the myth of black joy cannot exist without it being snuffed out by hate or lynching or mob similar to what we've seen with Black Wall Street. So what I personally had a vision for this project is to show that black joy can exist, it can prosper and it can be successful and that there is nothing that can destroy it. And black joy lives within each and every one of us as black people, a part of this diaspora. My vision for the project was to explore the concept of purity and what it feels like and means to embody a non-binary identity. Here in Colorado, we've all had different experiences and coming together with two other artists was an opportunity for me to explore not only the landscape, but other interpersonal relationships and understandings of place and identity. My vision for this project was to invest in friendship to find out what hurts them, what hurts our community, and what we can do to prevent the suffering in the future. I try to surround myself with love and I want that for all my community. I want that for myself, my friends, the seven generations that come after me. I wanna raise awareness about missing and murdered indigenous. I want the US to honor the treaties and to give the land back. We have so much work to do, but it starts with each one of us. And so if this project can help inspire anybody, then we've done the right thing. For this project, Behind the Cape, each of us selected a myth and a piece of Colorado history that represented our intersectional identities. We traveled across Colorado to each of these locations to have lived experiences and learn more about the history and dispel myths. We went to Deerfield, Colorado, a black ghost town, the site of the Third Bridge Massacre, a spark for the Sand Creek Massacre, and stayed local in Colorado Springs to discuss purity balls. We were able to explore the ways our identities were reflected in Colorado history. We were able to dispel myths and using Little Red Riding Hood as our metaphor, show the different journeys that each of us are on, as well as the way that wolves interact with our stories. We found hope strength, power, and magic as Little Red. Can you hear the ghosts that continue to haunt us today? Do you see the big bad wolf showing his claws? Can you feel the impact of the myths? We do.